and whoever else jumps in, um, they make sure we jumping in, um, and whatnot. So we we'll, we'll definitely be getting her as well. But uh, hey, we got her cousin in here, so if maybe they don't join. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing, man. I'm playing, man. man. <laughs> She yeah, she gonna come for me. She gonna come for me. <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing. But uh, Giselle, I know she won't be here. And Elena, um, I think they both are doing things for Easter. They're kind of mm-hmm. like doing things with their family and stuff like that. So just so you know, Art, I know you. They're, they're, yeah. members, they're members of the group. So just letting you know. Um, but yeah, yeah, let's get on into it. Um, the fitness goals. Let's just start there. Like, how has everyone been doing? Kia, I'm not sure. How long have you been on your journey? I know we haven't really talked about that. I, I started January of this year. Not. I know. Yeah, props, props. Uh, yeah. What, what got you into it? What made you kind of go, okay, I'm going to do this? Mary. <laughs> Marianne, <laughs> Mary, okay. I saw Mary got me into it. I was really thinking about it, but then I was like, you know, I was, I don't know, I just needed some type of motivation to start. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So one day, Marianne kind of like invited me to her gym to see, like, just to see what it's like. So I was like, okay, I'll just come. If you're going, I'll come because I'm so uncomfortable around people. I'm so shy. So I was like, let me just try it out. So she took me to her gym. Me and her went work, worked out for like two hours or hour, I think. And then I was like, oh, I kind of like this. Mm-hmm. And so I started with her. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to give me a membership at the gym. I'm just going to start. And then she was like, you should just start because once you start, you just kind of like get the feeling into it and then like you you'll be good so i just i was like that day after i left that gym a week later i, I got me a membership and i just started i was like january 1st let's get it so it has been three months since i've been working out let's go three months yeah three months let's go how many times do you work out a week if you don't want me to ask like six days out of the week i try to like take one day break but like, i usually work out at night after work so that's the only time i have so i try to push it in there yeah, that's dope. That's dope, man. All yeah, right, you, yeah, that is. That is you, really you hear awesome. this? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I was like, man, six days right off the jump. Yeah, that, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, like at least I try to do like Monday through Friday. I do like um like hour and thirty minutes, and then like the weekend, like I do like Fridays is my break day. Actually, Monday through Thursday, I do like hour and thirty minutes, and then Saturday, Sunday, I try to like go hard on there and like do like two hours. Mm. And it's been working. Nice. I did transformation. Like I did it before and after pictures and took some couple of videos just to see. And then I did a before weight and then after weight. I'm just like, I'm actually seeing results. So let's go. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Don't do not stop. You know, because I mean that's that's the beauty in it. And make sure you enjoy it. Make sure you enjoy it. Now now all right, he's a trainer here. So all right, man, you got any tips for you know for, for um Kia, man? She, this is yeah, she's new. Just, uh... yeah. Just keep pushing, keep grinding. It's like um, you can hear it in your voice that you're very excited. Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, just keep that strive. You know what I mean? There's going to be days where it's going to be tough. You know what I mean? Just with life in general. Yep. But you know what I mean? You still get in there. You know, you still grind it out. And, you know, everything will fall into place. And that, that's like pretty awesome. Like how you're, you're starting and you're already seeing results within the, the first three, four months. That's, that's really good. You know what I mean? So the harder you push, the more the more results you're gonna get. Just keep on staying consistent and disciplined when you don't feel like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I have a question. Since you're a, you're a trainer, mm-hmm. like <laughs> so, like I had like a surgery and like you know like it's just baby fat. So like, how do you turn like baby fat? Like I don't know what question it is. But okay, so like, mm-hmm. how can you turn a baby fat? Like, I don't want to have, like, a loose skin later on. Like, after I lose all the weight, like, I don't want to have, like, a loose skin. Like, mm. first, and I just want my skin to, like, get, like, you know, like, like the way it used to be. Yeah. Like, how can yeah. I? Yeah. Um, like, yeah, you just got to still take it. Uh, I, I wouldn't change a thing. If, you, if you're in there lifting weights, you know what I yeah. mean? Mm. You, you're lifting weights and you're doing your cardio. Uh, within time, you're going to be building muscle. And then as long as you're in a calorie deficit, it, it will it will slowly go away it's just you know it's just one of those things like um the you can't really i'll be dead honest with you you cannot mm. spot reduction you can't you can't spot reduce you know what i mean hey i want to lose this fat on my arms i want to lose it here you know what i mean I, or i want to use it right here you know what i mean you can't spot reduce it it's all about just being in a calorie deficit 
stay grinding and in time it will come you know what i mean you first i'm not to be honest with you you're gonna see it in your face like mm. yeah, where where it comes from first mm-hmm. yeah it's gonna be your face mm-hmm. yeah then it just works from top to bottom you know what i mean and unfortunately down here that's the last to go yeah you know, unfortunately <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I actually see it on my face because my face used to be like circle. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? So you, that's the first place you'll see it. Yeah. So, so just keep on like, staying in the calorie deficit though. Yeah. I try to I try to I try to stay as healthy as I can. Yeah. But then I feel like like I don't want to like cut everything off, you know? Yeah. Cause... No, you don't have to. You don't have to. Uh you can enjoy everything you like as long as you know, you know what I mean, your calorie intake. You know what I mean? If you know your calorie intake, you can set that number and have it. You can mm-hmm. eat pretty much what, what you want to eat. It's just you just got to just be careful with the calories. That's mm-hmm. it's all that's what matters is the calories in versus calories out. Yeah. Uh, facts. 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 Yeah. I, love uh, I know. I know a guy. Uh, uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing because he was telling me his journey and mm-hmm. uh and all he does, I know what he's doing. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's just I haven't ever seen it work before the way he's doing it. Yeah. And but it's it's working. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, he he has the he eats whatever meat he wants. You know what wow. I mean? He'll have steak. He'll have steak all day. He'll he'll have chicken thighs instead of chicken wow. breast. Uh, he'll eat the fattier leans of of, of the pork instead of the pork mm-hmm. loin. And my man, he he's just dropping weight. And he, he's doing it. Uh, I know he's on a high fat, low carb diet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's he's taking in his carbs. He's doing it right because he's taking in his carbs around his workout area mm-hmm. enough to fuel the body and then enough to uh, refuel it after his workout. You know, nice, and then nice. he won't have no more carbs the rest of the mm-hmm. day. And then he will eat just nothing but meat, veggies and uh, seeds and nuts. That, mm-hmm. That's all he eats. Awesome. You know what I mean? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's working, man. It's working, and he's he's getting gains, man. It, it's tripping me out the way yeah. he's doing it. <laughs> yeah, it's tripping me out. He's like, man, I eat meat, all red meat all the time, and then he started telling me his intake, and I was like, wow, the the high fat, low carb diet okay. really works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. It it, it really does work. You know, and yeah. it, like he's spot he's spot on with his calories. So mm-hmm. he's just like me. He 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 tracks everything. He tracks everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he showed me his log. I was like, "Man, hey, bro, come here, give me a hug." Give me <laughs> a hug. <laughs> yeah, he showed me his log. I was like, "Man, you're just like me, dude. I could pull back what I ate yeah. back in January." You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Yeah, that's that's how deep he is. So, yeah, that's another thing to like to to get results and stay yeah. consistent. Is like, there's gonna be a time. I don't know if you're tracking right now. Uh, is it Kia? Yeah, mm-hmm. Kia. Kia. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Like, if you're tracking right now, uh, your, you know, I mean, your calorie intake. Uh, but like, once you hit a plateau, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to readjust. You know what yeah. I mean. It's nothing. Nothing hard. Nothing. You know what I mean. To you can use an app. I use the app. It's very right. easy to. It's very mm-hmm. easy to track calories. Like what kind of um, app? I use the. Uh, they came with my watch. Uh, the the Galaxy. I, I'm I'm still throwback. I got the Galaxy Two That's Active too. Watch. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, it comes with the Samsung Health app. Um, that app is free. It works good. Uh, I have no problems with it. Uh, mm. A lot of people use the Fitbit, uh, but the Fitbit they they charge. Mm. Like yeah, I was like, why am I gonna pay for something when something's free and it's working for me? You know? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. But yeah, but mm-hmm. yeah. So it's it's just just another you know I mean to keep it in mind because mm-hmm. you're at the, that four months mark and then. It's gonna be creeping pretty soon, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So, but just, just keep grinding, keep doing mm-hmm. what you gotta do, and then uh, once you finally see the scale not moving, just let let me know or let us know. Hey, reach out to me, and then I'll help mm-hmm. you in any type of way you can. Yeah. There you go. That's your guy right there. That's your guy right there. I, oh yeah. For real, for real. Because I feel like there you go. Um, I've been doing like a lot, like you know the stairs, because the stairs kind of work mm-hmm. on your body. So like mm-hmm. I do that. Like I do like 30 minutes. I remember I used to do like 10 minutes. I couldn't even do 10 minutes. It used to be so hard. But now as my body got used to it, it's, it's getting easier. So I do 30 minutes on the stairs and I try to do weight lifting and then like um body workouts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Like the side on the mat. Yeah. And, and like it's been, it's been actually good. But I want to learn how to do like more, like I want to learn how to do different workouts, like ab workout, arm workouts, and stuff like that. Like the side, um, 
like the back, like the muffin roll, whatever it's called, work out and stuff like this. So like my whole body could just, you know, tone at the same tone. time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. That's good, man. Yeah. Uh like if you have a Facebook, um a lot of my uh a lot of uh even Facebook, I wanna say uh Instagram. Well, I got our content all out there to be mm -hmm. on all, all platforms on TikTok, uh Instagram. Uh, even my Facebook page, uh, you can follow me and you could just scroll through all my reels and then just put those in your routine. <laughs> those are all compound exercises. They're all good for you. You know what I mean? I do a leg day. I got a back day. I got, I got it all. You know what I mean? I, I even got, I just dropped a new video for, to work out your glutes. You know what I mean? The, the big mm. butt exercises and stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, I tell you what, building them glutes. Uh, I've been doing it for two and a half weeks strong, and mm. guess what? My squat, my squat PR just increased. Oh, it, it's crazy. Oh. Yeah, it, my my squat. Uh, uh, me and my buddy, he was there, and he was squatting. He was like, you know me, I don't never squat. And yeah. Then, uh, he's like, come on, man, you want to get in? I said, man, come on, man, I ain't squatted in two weeks. Come on, let's roll. <laughs> yeah. Then, Getting up there, the next thing you know, I put 185 on my back, and then I could do it for like two reps. Yeah, you know what I mean. That, that was my max, and yeah. then I had the 185, and I got eight reps in, and then it was Let's like, man, I was like, man, it got to be the glute exercise. Yeah. you know what I mean. It has to be the glutes. You know what I mean, something got stronger. Something <laughs> got stronger. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it sure it blew my mind. Man, that's dope. That's dope. This is just this is just dope. This is what I wanted the group to be. This is what I wanted to be. Connecting, communicating, networking. There y'all go. Now y'all need to add each other, follow each other, help each other. You know, this is exactly what I want. So I'm so glad to hear that, you know, it's it's already providing service. We ain't even gotten to the topic yet. <laughs> so but 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 I actually want to go ahead and dive into it because Kia, you just mentioned something very important. And that was you mentioned how you again you just not started you started in january and then you you were talking about how you were kind of afraid you were kind yeah, of you picked up on that too huh Trey? i picked yeah, up on it too on, yeah, yeah you noticed yeah, that yeah, you noticed I picked that up on it. Yeah, i was like yeah, yeah. because this is a topic you suggested all right you know that right like yeah 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 okay yeah. okay you threw this in there so i listened to you and, and again this is something i want to do with my members i want to make sure y'all giving me feedback hey i want to talk about this hey what about we talk i want to make sure i'm responding so kia we're actually going to go into it we're going to start off with you I want to start off with you asking you a question. <laughs> I'm ready. All right, cool, cool, cool. So Art pretty much mentioned um, the topic of the fear of entering the gym. You know, how you have a lot of people who are new and you probably even have people who, who are not new. They've been working out for years and they still are afraid of walking into the gym. Maybe they work out at home every now and then and every blue moon they'll come out to the gym and actually, you know, go inside the gym and do something uh, within the gym. But in a sense, you know. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, did you? Did you, are you breaking up? Yeah, I was breaking up. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Cool. There we go. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're back. Okay. Cool. 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 No problem. Um. So yeah, I just wanted to pretty much explore that topic, the fear of entering the gym. You know why maybe you have that fear, or maybe you don't have that fear. But I, in your case, I think you mentioned that you do maybe have that fear in a sense. So I want to explore it a little bit and just go into it. So the first question I have for you, Kia, for both of you, but you, the lady. So we want to start the lady first. So the first question I have is, have you ever feared entering the gym? And if so, why or why not? Yeah, I well, my fear was only because like, I'm like, what do people look at me like, look at that girl? What is she wearing type of thing? Like, I usually, I don't know, like. I just my that was basically my fear, mm. and, then, like, and then like the fear of like people looking at me and just yeah. like just me and stuff like that. That was most mostly my fear. So when you say looking at you and what are you wearing, you talking about like your hijab? Yeah, my hijab because I wear like a modest uh workout clothing. Yep. Out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'm just like I was just like afraid like maybe people might start to judge me because I do wear my headscarf. I don't take my headscarf off while I'm at the gym. So I'm just like. I feel like I was the only person with the headscarf at mm. the gym. I was like, you know what? Like they maybe they might judge me a little or something. Maybe they yeah. might look at me weird. So that was mainly my my main focus and stuff. But it wasn't bad. Mm. Wow. So how did you when you first went in there? Did you get any any responses? Did you get anybody that came up to you and said anything, or do you realize that man? I was just thinking. I was overthinking. 
I'll go to the gym at night, and there's barely there's nobody there. Uh, <laughs> the only person that there that's gonna stare at me is me. Like, <laughs> so like around, I get off work at like around eleven ish, and then yeah. like that's literally around the time like people, most people are still at work, yeah. and some people just you know got off work so they're tired. They rarely will come to the gym. Mm -hmm. You see like maybe one or two people, but mm. um, that's the time I usually go. So mm. I don't stairs at all. Okay, because it's all you go at nighttime because there's very few people anyway. Yeah, it's very few people. Yeah, I love that. I, I keep hearing that too. But do you are you saying that you go because there's very few people because you are afraid to go when there's a lot of people, or you just like to go because there's more time to use the machines and things like that? No, I just me. I'm like I don't know. I'm not like claustrophobic, but I just don't like being around a lot of people. Oh, good. Like, mm -hmm. My minimum, like my maximum of me being, it's like about like maybe three to four people. Once mm. past, I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I even have anxiety or anything. But I just don't like being around too many people. Mm. I always, feel like, but wow. So around, gotta be by either I'm by myself. Yeah. Or I'm around two or three people. That's it. That's my max. I like. It. I like it. I like it. I feel that. I feel that. All right. Well, hold on. I got some other questions for you. You ain't getting away that fast. But I, <laughs> but, I but I love it. I love it. So, all right. What about you? Have you ever? Uh, you know, dealt with the fear of entering the gym. Why or why not? Uh, definitely. Um, uh -oh. it was um even for a guy from uh, our standpoint of view, it's like I when I see guys come in there, uh, even now to the day, um, they they just like feel I could tell. You know, what I mean, I get that vibe. Um, yeah. where he's just looking around and then he picks up something and then yeah. starts moving it puts it back down and he's just mm -hmm. like looking around again. It's like, dang, did anybody see me? Mm -hmm. You know, stuff like that. You know, um, I, I pick up on it like, you know, cause I was once there, you know what yeah. I mean? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Like to be honest with you, like before I started my fitness journey, before I even went into the gym, I had yeah. that same thing. You know what I mean? So what I did is uh, I worked out at home. Uh, I, I bought, went out to Walmart, I bought a bench, I bought uh, a power block, went up to like 50 pounds. And wow. then I trained, I trained at home for like the first five, six months wow. of my fitness journey. Wow. Yeah. Until like, uh, I got the movements down where I knew what I was going to do and mm. then stuff like that. And then, um, it got to a point where I stopped building because, um, I was limited on the stuff I could do at home. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. So, uh, I was like, all right, cool. It's time to, time to break that, break that ice. I, let's yeah. go, let's, let's mm -hmm. go in the gym and see what it's like. And then even when I was in there, um, I was still experienced of what I knew at home, but, yeah. uh, it was still the, the crowd. Yeah. Like how would I adapt to the crowd and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I did what most most people still do is probably like, all right, cool. When when is it not that crowded? Mm -hmm. you know? And sure enough, like I uh, knew like around eight nine p.m. was the time where there's not that many people in there. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I changed my routine where I started working out at night. And then uh, I don't know. Uh, then I think it happens for a lot of people who just to attend the gym regularly and start going regularly. Where you just that. That, that uh those chains break you know what wow. i mean it's like you you feel free wow. like you feel you feel mm -hmm. comfortable like this is the place i call home mm -hmm. you know what this is me you know what i mean and then mm -hmm. you start walking around with a little bit more swag you know yeah. what i mean and then mm -hmm. you know and then it, it starts to become even more fun and then it's like all right cool you know what mm -hmm. uh i'm gonna come in at this time because uh mm -hmm. This nighttime stuff is, you know what I mean? It, it's hard for me, you know, to yeah. work out at night. It, mm -hmm. it really is. Mm -hmm. And then um, because of my job, too, and then, well, well that, and then it's like I can't give it 100% because my body's really tired from yeah. all day. And mm -hmm. then uh, I started adjusting my, my routine to the mornings. Mm -hmm. And then I noticed it was really packed in there. But, uh, you know, I, it, it just comes and goes, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, like, it's yeah. just something that it's like uh, – like I said, those chains break and then you just feel a whole lot more comfortable and you, you don't care about what other people think, you know, you're in there grinding. Mm. And then the more, the more, you know, like, uh, the crazy, the more time people talk to you, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, what's yeah. Up? yeah. You know what I mean? And then people start yeah. opening up after they start seeing you every day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, then it mm -hmm. just becomes more funner. The next thing you know, you're having a conversation with people you don't even know. And then it's like, all right, man. Yeah. 
Hey, you need a spot. You man, you got that right. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> next true, day, next true, thing true. you know, you're joking around and stuff uh, like that. It, it 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 is true. You know what I mean? Those chains break. It's mm -hmm. just like just like it was crazy because somebody told me it was like you got to get people out of their comfort zone because if they're in that comfort zone, they were never gonna grow. You know what I'm saying? You got that's the best time to use when you when you're out of your comfort comfort zone and you adapt to that situation. Mm. That's what that's where real growth happens right mm. there. You know what I mean? It, it's like and I totally believe it. You know what I mean? I had to get out of my comfort zone for me to step up my game to another level. Mm. My goodness, man, that's that's good. That's good. Being comfortable, being uncomfortable. You know, being comfortable, being uncomfortable, that's where you see true growth. And even with Kia, you know, I would say sometimes it even takes someone else to bring you out of that comfort zone. Exactly. You Just know? like what she said when Mehmet, uh, when she yep. went with Mehmet, yeah, yep. that, that's pretty cool because it's like she was like a help to you. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. like y'all are in there together. You're in there together working, working and working. And it was like, you know what? I got this. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, mm -hmm. that's totally awesome. Like how that journey started too. Exactly. And even with you, Art, you know, as a trainer, I think a lot of people need people like you. They need to hire people like you to also bring them out. Yeah. Uh, then what um, I don't think, well, for me, to be honest with you, it's like that was another reason why I got into this the whole yep. training business yep. Yep. and stuff like that is because I love to help people. I was once there. I know what yep. you're going through. Mm -hmm. And it's like, when I see people like that, I always communicate. Yep. Like, you know what I mean? It's my job mm -hmm. to like, make you feel like, Hey, this is your home, bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Keep on coming back and do what you're doing. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Hey, you know what? You can't squat that. It, it's all good. You know mm -hmm. what? Let's drop the weight. Let's, let's hit it harder. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Hit it from this angle. Let me, let me tell you about this. You know what I'm saying? It's mm -hmm. like, I will trust me. I was once there, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just keep coming back. Keep coming back. Man, 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 man. I, I, I love this. I love it. I love what you both are saying. Like already, y'all are bringing out like fifty percent of what I'm trying to get out. Um, this is dope. All right, let me let me move to the next one. Why do you think people struggle with this fear? Why do you think people struggle with sitting in their car, looking outside the gym, and they looking at the gym? I've had people tell me they're staring at the gym and then they go back home. They're like, "No, nah, I can't. Not today." And they do that for like a month. Why do you think people struggle with that? Going back to you, Kia. I feel like I used to be like that too, cause I'd be like, I'd be like during the daytime. I try going during the daytime. Like that one time, Marion told me I was, it was a struggle. Okay, like I was, I can't. I told her I, I almost went back home. I said I can't find the gym, Mary. <laughs> she was like, I know you can, so you you need to come in here. She said, stop being scared, just do it. So like I was there, I was just like, let me just go. And then I went yeah. in there, and them had like so many people in there. I was like, yeah, Marion. I'm definitely getting me a different gym because this gym is not my gym. Mm. Even though it's a nice gym, it's not my gym. I feel like people do that because it's, just, it's like the fear of like them getting judged by yep. uh, other people. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, everybody's there for the same reason. Like everyone, mm. everyone, everyone get their body right. But like most of the time, like people, the, the way they're thinking, it's like, oh, like this girl's body is nice or this guy's body is nice and my body is not like to their to their exact mm -hmm. thing. but they're still there like they they got to that point like you know they had to work out they had to like they had some type of time in there in order exactly to body right so like instead of being scared it's the best thing to do just like just just think and say oh we're, we're here for the same reason mm -hmm. go in there don't worry about worry about you mm -hmm. mm. and that's mm. My goodness. I love it. I love it. They say that comparison is the thief of joy. You know, comparison mm -hmm. is the thief of joy. Like, you know, uh, have, have y'all, do y'all agree with that? That saying? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's it. And do you ever find yourself doing that? Or have you ever found yourself doing that? Have you, ever, you found yourself comparing people, comparing yourself to other people in the gym too? Yeah, I have. I'm like, I want to have a nice body bag. Like, yeah. I, my, can my body get right? For real, for real. But that that's just normal though like i feel like it's normal yeah. just to like, look at yourself and try to compare yourself with other people mm. but everybody has a different body types so you shouldn't be comparing yourself to others facts so facts man have you struggled with that too all right comparison um maybe i could say like when i first started my journey wow. um mm. like um 
you know, because when I first started my journey, I was, you know, I mean, I was that 51 pounds overweight. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was at that 191. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, like, I'm like, man, what the heck? You know what I mean? What am I doing wrong? You know what I mean? What's up with this? Then uh, looking at the other guys, you know, these guys are jacked. And it's like, man, you know, uh, a part of it actually gave me uh, motivation. Like, Good. Like, all right, cool. You know what? I know if I come in here and do what I got to do, one day I'm going to get right. there. True. One True. day one day I'm going to get there. I just got to keep on coming back and putting in my work and keep grinding. Um but the the social anxiety that that's real. Um uh, it's it's real mm. out there. Uh, a lot of people a lot of people just don't like it, you know what I mean? Um cuz just like how Kia says, you know what I mean, if, like somebody's looking at you and you're trying to think of, man, well, what do they think about me? stuff like that um but like how you said though sometimes when we look in the mirror sometimes mm-hmm. ourselves can be the worst enemy because once we start talking those doubts the doubts the enemy wins and you don't even exactly. show up and you know what exactly. i mean you don't even want to put in the work your exactly. your grind is not there it's like you talk yourself out of it you know and it's very easy yeah. to talk yourself out of very it. easy yeah. very easy it's yeah. like I, I i still struggle with that still to this day yeah, like, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I tell myself I, I tell myself every morning it's like i try to find reasons why not to go <laughs> wow bro. you know what i mean it's like uh, no 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 i'm like man get your ass up you yeah. know what i mean go go make your go make your pre-shake go hit that pre-workout and get yeah. in there you know what i mean mm-hmm it's it's real you know uh it, I, it still happens to me you know uh but i'm trying to it's like me i'm transitioning over to nighttime because it's like i'm finding my sleep a whole lot more better now nice, <laughs> nice. you know what i mean my mm-hmm. I, I rather get my sleep and then i rather put in the grind at, at work now i mean after work it's just mm-hmm. but yeah but we're going off topic but yeah um other than that, the, it, you do compare yourself to mm. people in there, and just like I said, we got to stop all that, you yeah, know, and just start focusing on you. And, exactly. You know I mean, it's, yeah, you know, it's just you're the one who has to put in the work. You're the at the end of the day, you know what I mean. You're the one who has to put in the work. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, if you're not there writing them mentally, it's like, bam, the workout's going to be like crap. Mm. 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 Going back to the mental aspect of it, the mental mm-hmm. aspect of of fitness. I think it's I, I think mental is just as probably more crucial or more important than the physical to me when it comes to fitness. I feel like if you're not there mentally, you know, you're just not you're not in it. You're right. In it, that, you know? Yeah, those are facts right there. Mm-hmm. Um, like I noticed lately, like um, I kind of like get in the zone before I go like lately. I don't know this past month and a half um once i started this little started my calorie deficit again it's like i I, before i go to the gym i I sit down i chill and then uh, i get all my stuff ready and then Um, i'm not i will not say i won't say i meditate but mm -hmm. it's like i'm there just sitting there just just focusing you know what i mean it's like i'm looking at what i'm gonna do i'm getting ready and it's just like all right, come on, let's go get it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It's like, you know what I mean? I'm just like, I'm getting mm-hmm. in the zone, ready to get in there. Then when yeah. I get in there, it's just locked and loaded. It's like, I was, like the other day, like, yeah. it was like, man, I had somebody tell me, he's like, man, I was going to holler at you, bro, but the look in your eyes, it's like, you were on a mission. And I was like, my bad, bro. I didn't mean <laughs> it, but it's, but lately, man, the mind muscle connection has been there. It's like, been there. It, yeah. It's just like, if I'm pre, pre-gaming before I go into the gym, you could get a bad work. Mm. I mean, you could get a badass workout in, man. Mm. I love it. I I love this, man. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, and and art right, just to just to be clear, I think I I know I directed you into the comparison topic, but I wanted to make sure that you hit it too. So so I know comparison is what you you spoke on, but the why do you think people struggle with uh this fear as well, the fear of entering the gym? You would say comparison. Is there anything else? Um. To, to be honest with you, just uh, like a lot of uh, to enter the gym, especially uh, I know this it happened with me. Uh, mm-hmm. I can speak from experiences that, dang, I'm going to run into somebody I know in there. And yeah. it's like, I, <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. That's, and, yeah. you know, it's like yeah. I'm going to run into somebody I know. And the next thing you know, it's like, 
Hey man, I seen Art and everybody. That boy didn't know what he was doing in the gym. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. yeah, that too. <laughs> and then that even that almost drove me to where I wanted to go to a gym, not in my hometown. You know what I mean? It almost drove me that way, and wow, uh, I, I didn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just went to the less popular gym. Yeah, and then and then next thing you know, it's like I don't care now. It's not now. It's time to grow, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs>